Hi guys, this is T-Mash from 2A Syndicate and we're going to do a quick unboxing and review of OpsCore Fast Helmet. Hi guys, I'm back. And what I wanted to take a look at when we unbox and review is OpsCore's Fast Helmet. Now, there's a couple of different helmets that you can get. Um, you can get a ballistics helmet, you can get a bump helmet, and you can get a fast helmet. A lot of times people don't know this when they go and buy helmets. I'm sure there's a couple other different ones out there that you can get. Um, a lot of times with fast helmets, you have to be careful when you're looking for a fast helmet because a lot of the fast helmets sometimes will have the little holes in the top. Um, the bump helmets are a little bit more sturdy. Um, the fast helmets are sturdy too. Some of them that you can get, you can get pretty good quality ones as well. And then of course you got your ballistic helmets and your Kevlar and, 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 and what have you. But um, anyway, it is pretty much a budget type uh, deal. This fast helmet uh, comes in this box. It has some pretty decent stuff inside uh, that comes with it. Um, first off, you get this neck cloth that comes with it. It'll also cover you up uh, your face if you are in any kind of like um, storm around a lot of dust, dirt, sand, and things like that. That'll help protect. It also comes with extra pads as well. So you get um, the, the pads that it comes with, uh, and I'll show you inside really quick, are uh, these pads, and they come right from the factory. Uh, they are some pretty decent pads. It comes with two on the top, one in the back, and then you have your two on the side there. And then they give you some extra pads just in case you want a little bit more softer of a feel or a little bit harder of a feel as well when it comes with that. So without further ado, let's go over what this helmet comes with. Um, first and foremost, this is the Fast Helmet uh, from OpsCore. And obviously it comes with your setup here that you can have for your night vision or your GoPro. I run both of them on there and I'll show you those in a second. It also comes with the side rails. Um, I did buy a cover for it. This is a cover that goes on the top. The cover actually has a battery pack in the back. Some people get um, uh, weights to go in there and what that weight does is it balances it if you have a, uh, a heavier night vision hook up for the front it'll balance that out in the back so your helmet's not weighing down in the front just like that um, it also comes with these trusty chin straps uh, that comes around there and here's one of the things that i liked about this uh this uh, helmet that i wanted to get is that with the with the rails you can get your extra uh knobs here and that slides right up in there and it'll hold your headphones um that will be for your ear protection um, you would just pull your old ear, ear protection off of what you have and then just slide them right on here and then you can run the cable through here but what i liked about this helmet and the reason why i got it is because it also has a space in here that goes right through here where you don't have to take apart any headset you can put your headset on you'll just run it run it behind um your um your inside inside your inside rail and you run it behind your inside rail and it'll just fit perfectly behind there um, all your your padding that's in there they velcro on and off as you can see in here they velcro on and off and you can take those off and, and run those as well and you can put those around and just run your regular headset on so you can put your headset on first that way you don't have to break anything down it also comes with your bungees your bungees is going to hold your night vision setup for your goggles so i run two i run my gopro and that just fits up in there and just clamps right down in there and then you can run your gopro to where you can record um any of your sessions or your classes where you are and that could be for your own um enjoyment or recording and then also your night vision and what i did for the night vision guys is i just went and bought um a night vision setup it's kind of a uh kind of a gopro uh type setup it clamps in it's got this trusty little latch right here put it up close this trusty little latch right here that you can just snap it right in and snap it off 
And then I just use my attachments for my GoPro, um, the extra ones that I had. And then at that point, I can just kind of run this down and in, just like so. And now I have my night vision set up as well. And as you guys saw on a couple of my earlier YouTubes about this night vision I got, this is a nice budget um, night vision setup that I got on here as well. And what the budget night vision is, is a digital. Um, I didn't feel like paying uh, the money for a, you know, uh, an NV or anything like that because I felt like uh, for the classes that I'm going to take and what I'm going to be doing with it, I didn't need to spend the money and it wasn't really in my budget to spend that money just to take those classes and have that expensive night gear just kind of hanging around. So that's how I did that. So, and this little button here, you just press that and, and that comes off as well. So again, you can run your GoPro that just kind of snaps right up in there. And once you run your GoPro, you can record any sessions that you do. Even if you're training on your own, you can also do that as well. Um, it has this nice adjustment here for, for my GoPro helmet there. And I actually run a battery pack here. And the reason why I run the battery pack here is because you can put the cord in. The cord will run through the helmet. And once it runs through the helmet, it'll go into uh, my night vision. And that way, with my night vision on, I can actually charge it while I'm going. Uh, the batteries are still going. I haven't charged it since I bought it. It's still on full battery. So it's taken a while for that thing to even go to one bar. So that's something that um, I don't really need to uh, worry about as much. Once, once it gets low, I'll go ahead and charge that. But... Also, let's talk real quick about the adjustable dial for your head strap that it comes with. On the inside here, you see this part hooks up from the chin strap, but it's all intertwined with this head strap here. So that this is the back of the head strap. It runs all the way to the front. The front is fixed. The back is not. As you can see, it kind of lifts up a little bit. This is your adjustable strap. If you want to tighten that up, you just turn it. Um, either way, one way looses it, the other way tightens it up because you want a nice tight fit on your head and you, when you move around, you don't want the helmet moving around on you. So it's got a really good adjustable head strap that comes with this um, thing. This is basically a fast helmet. Uh, ballistic helmets can run anywhere from um, you know 600 to uh, a couple thousand dollars for a full ballistic helmet right now it's just not in the budget and i don't feel like i really need a ballistic helmet with what i want to do and um it's going to be the same for the night vision as well so um if you have any questions or comments please put them down in the comment section and as always guys train hard train often this is t mash from 2a syndicate thanks for watching